The filter formula in Excel is a powerful tool for pulling in dynamic ranges from your data set. Let's talk about how this formula works and how to use it effectively. What we have here is our master employee list we used in our job interview exercise. If you're interested in that video, I'll include a link above. This video is focusing on the use of the filter formula. What is the filter formula? It allows you to toggle through a subsection of your data very easily. So if I use filter and I just want to see the employees that have received over a $10,000 raise, the filter formula will show me just those values. If I wanted to look at maybe only employees that receive less than $5,000, this Excel formula will show me just the cells I'm interested in. This is the same thing as adding a filter to your data set and using a numeric filter to say less than $5,000. You can see we have 11 employees in our master employee list and 11 employees using our filter formula. We've accomplished the same task. So why would you use a filter formula? What we're gonna talk about is building a dynamic employee roster for different ratings. These employees are rated A, B, or C. I will create a copy of this master employee list. So control drag will create a copy of your worksheet. And now I'll just delete everything below row four. I want this first sheet to be for A ratings. So I'll put an A in cell K4. I will make this yellow just so it's really obvious this is a dynamic input. I can use my filter formula to easily pull in the relevant information I need. So filter our array will be the information we want to pull into that column. So for our first column, it is the employee number. Our second argument is what are we going to use to determine which employees to include? It will be our rating column. I'll use F4 to lock that in place and say equal to the rating of A that I've built on my new worksheet, F4, and then delete that sheet reference so we can make this really dynamic when we create new sheets. So now it just says equals K4 instead of specifying the worksheet. If I hit enter, now I have all the employee numbers for every A employee in my data set. If I copy that formula and paste it across, now I have all the information for my different employee numbers. Highlight these cells. If I wanna remove this formatting, I can use Alt H H N, will remove the coloring and Alt H B N will remove the borders. If I wanna add some kind of nice separator border, I can use conditional formatting, Alt H L, highlight cell rules, more rules, format only cells with no blanks, and just put a dashed bottom border. I think always looks nice. And if you hit okay, now this is giving you just a really simple format so that you can see each one of your rows. If you update this top header, you can put the rating and then concatenate with an ampersand space employees. If I wanna update this sheet tab, I can call this A employees. And then if I wanna create an additional list for my B and C employees, I can drag this over. I can change this sheet name to be B employees, and then just change this rating to B. Now I only have my B employees. I can do the same process for my C employees, change the sheet name, and then change the rating to be C. And now I only have my C employees. Really, really simple way to create a few different rosters that is not only fast and flexible, but very dynamic to change. Let's say we went back in and we actually thought a lot of our employees were doing better than we previously thought. We could change all these employees to an A. And now if we go back to our rosters, they've been updated accordingly. We don't have many B or C employees anymore where we have a lot of our A employees. Or if we thought many of these employees should actually be rated as a C, we could fill this in with a C rating, and now our A roster is reflected appropriately, and our C roster is reflected appropriately. With nice, simple formatting that makes these sheets look professional and are ready for any use you would need.